Hello, it's Dave here with another video, this time uh, again about blogging. I want to share a couple of really good resources with you, um, which can really help to get your blogs read and also to make them more readable. Um, now, these are two free resources. The first is, uh, we're talking here about WordPress as a blogging platform. And this is actually the blog section of my WordPress website, which is davemenzies.com. I've actually done a previous video about one aspect of this. Um, this is actually a plugin called SEO, Yoast SEO. Uh, I'll, in the description, I'll write that down. But this is basically a plugin that you can find, which gives you a couple of scorecards when you're writing a blog that helps you to A, make the SEO as good as it can be, it gives you a kind of list of checkpoints. I've actually done a separate video of this. If you want to see that, you can click on the link that's going to appear right now. I click on that and it will open that video up in a separate tab for you if you want to have a look at this aspect of Yoast SEO. Uh, of course, you could also subscribe if you want to see all of my stuff. Uh, I've got a lot of tutorials in there about digital marketing, transitioning to the digital economy where everything is nice and rosy, unlike the current traditional economy. Um, so there's lots of resources in there, lots of different tutorials on blogging, video marketing, uh, all sorts of stuff in there that you might find useful. So go ahead and subscribe. But anyway, to press on, the other side of SEO, this is actually a fairly recent update to Yoast SEO, is this section here called Readability, which gives you, again, a sort of checklist, but it's all about how your blog looks and how it reads, um, how it flows and how smoothly it reads because people don't really want to have to fight through. There's tons of content out on the internet already. People really aren't going to um, spend much time on your blog unless it looks really good, which again, you can do with images and so on using the Yoast SEO checklist. Um, it gives you a whole load of checklists. Again, refer to the previous video on that, but um, the point is that it helps to make your blogs look better and read better. I'm going to concentrate on the readability thing here and share another resource with you. Now, this is a blog that I've actually just written and I have kind of optimised as best as I can. It's given me a good SEO on the Yoast checklist for SEO and readability is okay and that's after a bit of work, to be honest, which I did using another little free resource which is called the Hemingway Editor and you can just look that up. It's There's the URL there, it's just HemingwayApp.com. Completely free. And what you can do in there, it's another checklist styled thing. You can cut and paste your, uh, if, you, if you go to, it's easier if you haven't, as I have here, already put in images. But if you have, you can go to text and then just cut and paste everything, the whole thing. A lot of it is just going to look like gobbledygook because it's HTML text. If you haven't already put in images, if you've just written the blog, you can just stick with visual and do this Hemingway check before you actually add any um, images in there. So let's just say I've, I've cut and copied the text. I'll just do this again. I've already done it, but let's just go into Hemingway and sometimes a little finicky because it's a web resource, but let's just get rid of this. Okay. And just paste in what I've just copied from my blog. So you can see there, there's all this stuff in here, which is images, um, code for images. You just ignore that and concentrate on the actual words. And you can see here, if you look to the right, this has given me a checklist. Again, not unlike the SEO checklist that you get with Yoast as well. But this is really cool because it just highlights all the parts of your, your post or your content, whether that be a blog or any other piece of content, and just gives you a readability score. I've actually managed to get 11, which is okay here. There's more I could do, and I probably will. But it, it talks about here, uh, you know, 12 or 51 sentences are hard to read, and it's highlighted the ones it's talking about in yellow. You, you get a colour code to go with each of these. Um, four of 51s are very hard to read, so I'm going to have to look at that. Those are in pink. Uh, six phrases have simpler alternatives, uh, again, in a different sort of shade of, of pink. And then in pale blue, five adverts, aim for five or fewer. Um, so you can go through, those are highlighted. You could look at removing them uh, if you wanted to. And then the other one, which is a little bit of a struggle, which actually led to me finding this Hemingway editor, is this use of passive voice. Now, this is a kind of English grammar term. Um, 
it's a little bit confusing, but again, this tool helps you to sort of work around that. I actually have been through this, and it's really just in the way that you talk about nouns and verbs and so on, whether it's um, a sort of active, which is deemed to be better and more readable, more sort of impactful way of, of saying something than the passive voice. And again, you might want to Google that and just uh, get the terminology. There is, again, if we go back to Yoast, in the readability section, there is actually a, a couple of little resources that you can click through and read. You can see here this refers to 12.3% of the sentences contain passive voice, which is more than the recommended maximum of 10%. Try to use their active counterparts. And you can see here there's a link you can click through, and that gives you a bit of an explanation of passive voice and active voice. So again, once you've kind of boned up a bit on that, um, this isn't an English language tutorial, so I'm not going to attempt to do that. But again, you can just mess around in here. If you change something, you'll get a, an updated score in here. And then you can just go back to your blog and add those changes that you've done in Hemingway um, back into your blog. Or you could edit the whole thing in here and then just copy it from here and paste it back in to replace the blog. And then add your images and so on. So anyway, that's um, Yoast SEO. Um, both SEO and readability, again, free plugins uh, for WordPress and the Hemingway editor. Both really, really useful tools when you're getting a bit more advanced about blogging and are looking to really make your blogs more impactful and, well, basically more readable, which uh, everyone wants in these days of, of um, mega content online. So hope you found that useful. Uh, as I say, if you'd like to learn more about internet marketing, digital marketing, all the various aspects of that, feel free to subscribe. And I'm also going to add a link in here at the end to um, the place where I get all of my training, mentorship, a lot of tools, uh, a lot of hands-on, nuts, hands -on rather, nuts and bolts um, resources that I use on a daily basis. Uh, and that's with SFM and Digital Experts Academy. They're actually doing a free trial at the moment, so you can get access to their entire membership-based system for 30 days with a uh, member of staff to actually help you through the process um, and then you can evaluate whether it's something that looks to be of interest to you uh, or not. So I'll give you a link to that there and thanks for listening. Really always appreciate any comments or suggestions you might have so feel free to leave those and again hit the red button underneath there to subscribe. Thanks again, it's been Dave, DaveMenzies.com. Cheers now.